Hello everyone, I'm NGC, and today's video I'm going to be ranking every episode of the Cuphead show. Now, this is a show that was based on the 2017 original video game called Cuphead, and the DLC in 2022, of course. The show is about a cup named Cuphead, and his brother, a mock named Mugman, go on adventures with their friend Miss Chalice sometimes, and they also run into danger along with their arch nemesis, the devil known as Hell's Raider. And I really like this fandom. So in honor of two years of this show's release, which I'm very late on, but it is what it is, I'm going to be ranking every episode and season that was released in this show. Now, like every video, we have some rules to make. First off, these are my opinions, so if you disagree with me, that's perfectly fine with me, but don't be a baby about it in the comments below. Also, only the 36 episodes that were released from season 1 to season 3 in the show. Also, if you want to know how my rankings will go, then go watch the Cable 10 Torture Tree ranking video, since I kind of already explained it in that video, so yeah. But anyway, with all that being said, let's begin the video. Number 36, Lost in the Woods. This episode was awful, lots of drag down moments, and Cuphead was at his all-time worst here, like seriously, he was that bad. This episode's not only my least favorite episode of season 2, but also the worst episode of the entire show. And I think a lot of people can agree with me on that. Number 35, Baby Bottle. This is a bad episode. They could have done more with this concept, and Baby Bottle was so awful in this episode, which makes him my least favorite character of the entire show. Number 34, Piano Lesson. This episode was pretty bad. Mogaman was at his worst in this episode. And to be honest, if not for that funny ending, this episode would have been raw on this list. Number 33, Say Cheese. I don't know why, but Edo Keto was really chaotic in this episode for no reason at all. And the rest of the episode just dragged on. So yeah, it was pretty boring. Number 32, Don't Answer the Door. Well, Baby Bob returned in this episode. But thank God he was not in this episode for so long, as much as the last episode he was in. And the rest of the episode was actually okay, but there are some scenes I did forget. And the ending just went on, I guess, but it was still funny at the same time. Number 31, Another Brother. This had an interesting idea, but it kind of got derailed through the second half of this episode, and it just comes close to being okay. Number 30, Joyride. This episode is just a preview of the last two big episodes of the entire series, so not much I can really say here, other than it was an okay episode, but could have been longer. And it is also the last episode to feature Edoko in the series, by the way. I do wish we had him in the finale of the season, or the show, but like, given that, like, Edoko and the devil are not supposed to meet, and also knowing the fact that the voice actors have to get their lines really done quick, it's quite understandable why he didn't show up, given that the whole season tree only took three months to make. But still, I like this one. Number 29, Handle with Care. This episode definitely had its funny moments, but it kind of just exists. Okay, look, the... Scenes at Porkland Shop, I guess, were funny, but the rest of the episode was alright, but none too special. Number 28, Hotel Tradition. Get tree edition tree edition but enough of that. While I write the first half of this episode, the other half was kind of dull, and it doesn't even come close to the other Christmas special. The show made, which... Which I will get to later on this list. I will get to the other Christmas special the show made. I'll get to later on this list. But all I could say is this one is not as good as the last one. It's just okay. Number 27. Go St. Rio. As for this kind of show. It kind of makes sense. They would do something like that. But the actual episode was decent. And the ghosts were pretty funny. Number 26. Dirt Nap. This episode had its funny moments, but the twist at the end of the episode makes the episode kind of pointless, if I'm going to be honest, but I will admit, the scene where Edoketo got his fucking ass kicked by the booby traps were funny. Number 25, Roll Kill. While this episode had a good prop, but the video kind of falls flat, but I do like the scenes where Edoketo and the devil interact, something I wish we saw more in the show, with other characters interacting with each other. Number 24, Sweet Temptation. This episode was fun to watch, along with the characters and the final battle at the end, topping off this episode to be actually pretty good. Number 23, Special Delivery. This episode was pretty solid with its hilarious moments, the return of Rivian Croaks, and Mugman's Insanity was actually a lot better, and something I wish they did with Piano Lesson. Seriously, Mugman actually becoming insane 
worked here. That's actually a surprise. Oh my god. That's such a surprise. That's such a surprise. But yeah, this episode, it was good. Number 22, Dangerous Smoke Man. The first of many Smoke Man episodes in this entire show. And this one is a banner. With its funny jokes and the hilarious character pork line. Which we should have had more in this show. But it is what it is. Number 21, Sweater Off Dead. This episode was pretty good. Just not as good as the f second part of this mini series. I will get to it on this list. Don't worry, I'll review that soon. But the actual episode was pretty entertaining time to time. And it's had its funny moments. So, yeah, it was good. Number 20, Cup Stage. This one was short but epic. I like that show us at the stage. I want the return of Seri Stage, Ray, which was great to see. And I just loved the beginning and the Mugrat stage fright calling back. That was pretty sweet. Now, like I said, this is a short episode, if not the shortest episode of the entire show. And I do wish we had more done with this part since it's actually a good prop, but I still did, as a matter of fact, enjoyed this one. Number 19, The Root Pack. This one I actually used to hate first time watching it, but now I think it's pretty good. Definitely not a masterpiece, don't get me wrong, but it was something tolerable. I guess the root pack were jokes, but this is personally I can understand that given that it's their whole personality. So I can't just hate on characters for their whole personality. That's like people hating on Jax from the Amazing Digital Circus, where they hate Jax for being a joke, but he's supposed to be a joke. So yeah, it kind of doesn't make sense. But the yeah, rest of the episode was good. I did enjoy Cuphead and Mugman's attempts to try to end the party. They're true under the boys' backs, which probably saved most of the episode, but it is where it is. Number 18, In Charm's Way. This one was something, and it's also the first ever appearance of Miss Chas in the show. Took them long enough. But I still would say this is a good episode. Sure, the end it was a massive middle finger to us, but I will say the rest of the episode did work. It was not for the ending since it just ends out uh, of nowhere and it asked myself so many questions, which I had to wait the second season to come out six months. But you know, animation takes time, voice actors writing takes time, and you know what, since this is a fucking TV code for kids, I'm not gonna get too wired up for that. But like I said, the episode was good. Number 17, The Devil's Pitchfork. Honestly, one of the more unique episodes in this show. This is also the season finale to season 2, on to season 3, come out 3 months later, after the release of season 2. But yeah, I really like this one, to be honest. Sure, the end just uh, ended out of nowhere, like this one, to be honest. Sure, the end, like, okay, well, the ending, like I said, it dragged on a bit with the, like, cup that he just keeps electrocuting the devil on and on when... It could have been shorn down a bit, and it just ended abruptly out of nowhere. Like, I don't think anything dramatic happened to, like, the last few seconds of this episode, but I I'm not talking points. This is still a good one. It just bothers me, I guess. Number 16, Con Eagle. Ah, the first episode of the entire show, and it's very awesome. It's the first time we see the gang, the first time they meet the devil, and also the first time they're in death. Sissy, I love all the references in this episode. I want the main points leading to the original game, honestly. But yeah, such an enjoyable episode. Number 15, Dead Book. I don't know why, but this episode gives me chills every time I watch it. Since it's just so good. The scenes near the end with the gang against some ghosts were good. The main plot along with introducing Sally Stage Prey, one of the original boss fights from the game, like the Root Pack and Maria Croaks, were good. So, yeah, another brilliant episode. Number 14, The Devil's Revenge, the follow up to Season 2 and the first episode of Season 3, aka the final, final season. Oh, I the cupboard show, but yeah, this one was something good. The scenes in Hell were great, Cuphead and Pedratus were also great, and I just love every single character around it. Just like every single character feels really good. I do wish people actually helped Cuphead rescue Mugman, but Porkline didn't appear in season 2 at all. And Miss Chara, she has a contract with the devil, so can't show on to the radio. And Miss, and we know why other kiddo can't know about the devils, so it's pretty clear why they didn't show up. But this episode had potential. Most of it was executed really well, though, I gotta admit. Number 13, Charmed and Dangerous. This was a great episode. I really liked the concept, and it was really good. I also enjoyed seeing Miss Charles again. 
Once again, after the events of the season where she just left them for dead. Fuck you, Miss Chalice. But she was actually good here, along with the angry mob. I will say, there was a few scenes that dragged on where Miss Chalice kept Ryan and Ryan. It just, why is this even in the episode? But I still enjoyed this one. Number 12, Jailbroken. This, the episode, like, this is the first episode of season two. And honestly, one of my favorites. Cup of the Milk Man showing a bit of character to Man was pretty good to watch. And the episode, the rest of the episode was pretty sweet. And it answered a lot of questions I had when season one ended. So, yeah. Number 11, Dancing Dangerous. The backstory behind Miss Chalice was good. And it actually makes sense for this character. I also like the plot twist where Miss Chalice was revealed to be working with the devil the whole time, which I did not expect coming from a mile away on my first watch, even though it was kind of already clear why it was in, like, special delivery, but it was still good. Now, the only reason I'm not going to put in my top 10 is because, okay, like Joy Wright, this is just a preview for the finale to the seasons, which we will get to it in this video. I will get to it. Just give me some time, dog. Like, seriously, like, I've been talking for like 11 minutes. My throat's already sound hurt, but like, yeah, this was somewhat unique. Now, starting off the top 10 is none other than Sweater Rope next time. I'm also going to be explaining more of my thoughts in this episode as we go through them, so be prepared. So yeah, I really like this one. The Devil Trying to Get Cup It So is an interesting pro, and I really liked it after... All of what is what. And Cuphead and Mug their devils interactions where they just look at themselves thinking maybe they're not so bad after all is actually a good lesson to the viewers. Until the devil finds out he doesn't have a sweater and tries to kill him but Mugman kills the devil in the end and he doesn't appear for like 10 episodes. What the heck did they do to my man? But anyway, yeah, this episode was still enjoyable. But anyway, yeah, it was a good one. And it deserves to start off the top 10. Number 9, Rats All Folks. This episode was enjoyable. The episode definitely did what I want to have done right, just like his personality in the original game. Which I also like about the episode is the multiple battles between the main characters in Warner, which were really good and reminds me of back in the day when what cartoons used to represent. And the ending was even hilarious, so yeah, this episode's to vote. This, it just deserves to be where it is, so. Such a good one. I, I hurt my finger. Ouch. Number 8, Ribby and Croaks. This episode was pretty solid. Basically, Cuphead and Milkman try to get ice cream, so they sneak into Ribby and Croaks' ship, but they get destroyed in the end, but they do get their ice cream, so, eh, that's worth, right, killing a few people for that, and we've seen a man go on fire, like, seriously, what is their, what is their deal? Why are they not kids? This is not normal. But yeah, I do like Ribby and Croaks. They were probably the higher at this episode. The relationship sometimes toxic, but sometimes healthy was somewhat hilarious. And I can definitely relate with siblings. I will admit, the scene with Sherman and Doris wasn't horrible, but it did drag on the episode a bit. But for the rest of the episode, it was pretty fucking sweet. Number 7, The Ice Cream Man. Wow, an episode where Mugman goes insane actually worked? I must be in heaven. Twice? No, this episode came out right before Piano Essence, so I don't know what the hell they thought of making that episode right after this one. But I just genuinely love the diameter between Mugman and, of course, the Ice Cream Man. I love the story with Mugman imagining Camry as well. It's so well written, and the ending was so enjoyable. Also, Cuphead was barely in this episode, which actually shocked me since this show is really called The Cuphead Show. And this is probably the, like, Cuphead was probably in this episode for, like, a minute. The lowest time he was in a, sh like, episode. That is actually insane. We cannot have one single episode without Cuphead. We can have multiple episodes without the devil. Multiple episodes without Miss Chas. Even Elder Kettle. But no, we can't have a single episode without Cuphead and Mugman. Seriously. Oh my god. This was so good. Number six, roll the dice. This is the first episode to feature the best character in this entire show, King Dice. But I just love this episode, and it's also my favorite episode of season one. So, yeah. Rest of the video will not feature any more season one episodes. I just love the overall plot with the game show idea with King Dice. And like, King Dice himself is overall seriously good. Like, seriously, Wayne Brady did such a good job with this character. 
Mugman stage fight was also funny here. Devil henchmen were pretty enjoyable. The ending was also funny. The only reason it's not in my top five rest is because it could have done more with this kind of plot. I know I'm saying that a lot in this video, but it's just like I'm just being honest with my opinion. But I still love this like episode. Kicking in the top five is her season's adventures. This episode was pretty awesome. The new characters like Happy Briny Beard. What what the fuck was that? No. Captain Briny Beard and Camarilla was uh, pretty solid. And they did do a good job with how they acted like in the original game. Just like Sari Stage, Prey, and Wonder Woman. And they also the highlight of this episode. No context. The funniest joke of this entire episode was just... Mugman flying off a crab. I don't know why, but this part made me laugh out so loud. So, yeah, this episode was a great one. And also, I think the music was good here, I guess. But, I don't know, it's not my favorite song on the show. It's actually the next entry. A.K.A. number four. Down and Out, a sequel to Roll the Dice. Ignore and release the demons, because I generally think they actually forgot about this episode. I generally thought they, like, I, I think they forgot that episode. They made that episode, but, yeah, I really like this one. Covenant and Mugman bonding with each other. It was really nice to see. Then bonding with King dies. Sickle somehow manages to be funny, because I generally don't like Sticker in particular, but he was actually funny for once. Along with the devil and henchmen. The song in this episode is probably my favorite song in the entire show. Just everything about this works. A lot. Number 3, A Very Devil Christmas. This was the other Christmas special I talked about earlier in this video. But I think this episode was really enjoyable. I like how they adapted the whole Christmas holiday into this episode. And it was cool to see the devil interacting with Santa's elves. I wish we had more scene with the devil trying to be nice since it only lasted for like 10 seconds before he committed fucking arson on the old lady just trying to raise money for charity, which those kids are definitely dead now, they only stopped. But uh, ignoring that flaw, I would say this episode worked for the most part. So yeah, brilliant episode. Number 2, Release the Demons. This was an amazing episode from start to finish. The plot was creative, all of the characters enjoyed, even Stickler, a character I didn't even like at first. They managed him to uh, make him actually hilarious. Seriously, this episode was good. Just so good. And most importantly, the man himself, man, King Dice, he returns from the dead and continues to be the girl. The only team. Holding it back from the number one spot is the scene with the devil killing his henchmen, which, okay, it was funny. It did drag on a bit, and I wish the Yopi did it once, because, like, do it twice, now fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Like, seriously, why would you do that? But anyway, yeah, this was still a great episode, even though they could have gotten to the kidnapping sooner until, like, halfway through the episode, but episode great and now number one aka the best episode of the entire cuphead show if you pay attention to this video in my honest opinion is the devil and miss chalice to be honest i was deciding whether or not this was better or worse than release the demons and while i wouldn't mind either pick i would have made but this episode strapped my arm. But and in every way you imagine it, the plot was really good. The characters were great. No scenes really dragged on in this episode. The beginning, the end were both satisfying. Just everything about this episode was just either very creative or genuinely hilarious. Like from start to finish, it was so good. Just the plot, the characters, the funny moments, the ending, the conclusion, wrapping up the series so damn good. I won't spoil the ending for people who are planning to watch this show, I guess, but this was such a good episode. But they did reference the Devil's Casino at the end of the like, ending, which was so good. And it looks like they were planning on doing this because this is kind of like the exact same way how Cup and Mugman got to their shenanigans in the original game. So if they're trying to do something like the original game, it worked. Because... This is why this is not only my favorite episode of season 3, but the best episode I can say of the entire show. And that is my total ranking of every episode that came out on the show. 
I hope you guys enjoy watching this video and hear my opinions on the show that will probably be never a chance given that like their plans about a sports season or heck even a collab with has been hotel at some point for the show but hasn't been said if it was cancelled or not and to be honest if teens stay the way they are i'm happy with it just think about it the first three seasons of spongebob was so good like seriously it was like mayonnaise on a burger yeah i'm one of those people but the fourth season was kind of mediocre and from then on the show just became bland and forgettable but if teens are left the way and there will be no really big downfall to the show, I'm happy with that, to be honest. I don't know what's in the future for Cuphead, for the games and show, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you all in the next video.